Hi, it's Deborah from Joy in a Journal. I've got another journal to show you today. This is the same size, it's eight and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. It's got a two and a quarter inch curved spine. This front marbled paper is from Graphics Fairy membership site. And then it's hand painted curved spine and I've put this ribbon at the top as a headband. We'll go in and have a look. So these papers here are from Kayser Craft. I buy those online and just get them delivered. This first page is from um, a Janet Marsh book. There's just some collage there with some old ribbon. It's a plan of a garden, which is a bit of a theme throughout the book. It's from a herb book. It's Emma with a tab on there. Lots of tea stain paper for writing on, stamping. There's a tag. A lovely picture from a really nice book. Fold out. Collage there with some vintage music paper, some parcel tape, so this is from a big pile of encyclopedias that I got about all kinds of different things and one of them is gardens and how they are planned, hints on the arrangement of attractive gardens so I've just popped that in. This is a printable Nick the Booksmith on Etsy, so I printed that out on tracing paper. These are from a new book that I've managed to buy on eBay called Plants and Animals. It's got some really lovely pages in it. And then I'm just trying to flip, put some stamping on here and a bit of stamping on the paper. Another tab there and an Edith Holden. One of those tabs there with a butterfly behind it. Those butterfly cards. The graph paper, all tea stained. So this is some leather that a friend gave me. So I've just used them as tabs at the top of some of the pages. Another one about the garden planning. A big sewn pocket there and just a little sticker. This is a new pad of paper that I found so I've just been tea staining that and using it. A little tab there. This is a printable. It's got the B on it so it's just really pretty if you put it over a, a graphic. Another tab there. Marble paper. I'm buying more graphics than ever now. I didn't really get them at first because I didn't have a decent printer, but I seem to be getting quite a few now. Another some pocket. Need a folding, some writing paper. I can't remember which book that's from, but then really nice papers, just put a big tab on there. An envelope, postcard in it, that's all stitched round with some parcel tape on. There's another fold out there with the moths on it. More writing paper. Got these little brass clips off Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than the Tim Holtz ones and I really like the colour. So 
some collage there with some old ribbon that the same friend gave me. Another leather tab. Some collage on there with some old ribbon. Diary page. Out of a diary that I stopped using. Some paper in there. A big tag up there. Tab in that. I thought that might happen. Because the glue hadn't glued it down. I'll sort it out later. So I just put lots more glue on it and obviously it's gone the other way now. It's a folder. These are from the Graphics Fairy membership site. So I've stitched them and put them in the middle of the pocket. And that's them. Um, that's a little top spot there. Tag inside that tuck spot. Oops, with these, another tuck spot there. Belly band, is that what you call them? I like this paper, I kind of used it throughout just to give a bit more colour. It's another one of those pages. I'll put some writing paper in there. One. And the specimen name stamps that I got online. This is from the back of the book that I got from eBay. Just distressed it and popped it in there. Get a collage up there. One of those. Butterfly. I made these. Um, a lovely lady on YouTube who I watch. I'll put a name down below. I can't remember it. She was showing how to make these. So you just put the whole just on some scrap and then just stitch it off. Put it on the side. It's a bit thick this card, so I didn't dare put it through the sewing machine. Another one of those tracing paper printables there with a the little bee on. Another pocket. I'm going to nick the book smith. One from the herb book. Got it on there. This is from an old music book called The Wasp and the Bee. Another pocket. Again, that's from um, the Graphics Fairy. I've just got a membership too, just for a month to see if I like it. I've also had to get the Photoshop. But I'm, I'm quite enjoying learning how to use it. Fold out. With one of those leather tabs. And another tuck spot there, a tab. Fold out. This is from um, the children's poetry book, The Gardener. Lovely poem, and then a picture. When he puts his tools away, he locks the door and takes the key. That's the back of the poem. Fold out there. That's a printable, just so really nice. It's not a pocket or anything, I just popped it there. And vintage music paper and some of the reinforcements there. Another, one of the double pockets that I like. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye now.